Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Welcome back. Welcome back. I took a little bit of time off. I was hanging out, but I'm back now. Uh, you know, and I'm gonna just jump right into it. I, I don't I, I don't waste words. So here we go. The history of Amadea in Spain. And there's someone in the in the chat already, but uh I'm gonna just share the screen here and uh read right off of my my uh amazing essay that i already did so here we go click sh share screen and as soon as it comes up uh and this is going to be interesting it's going to be fun I, I got some interesting stuff um all right so there we go share screen and that should be it okay so here we go actually is this one so the history of amadea in spain um so here's the story. By today, by 2021, there's like barely 200 Cadianis in all of Spain. I even doubt that. Um, and I'm going to give you the full history. I'm going to tell you I was there 2001, 2002. And a lot of Amnis are mad about that because I traveled the, around the world. They don't like that, you know, because they were stuck at home. Uh, into a forced arranged marriage with their cousin or something like that, or whatever the case might be, um, or whatever they were forced to do. I wasn't. So um, so it all starts in 1936. Um, the Amelia movement is allowed to send a missionary to Spain. So these are the same people who say they're persecuted. They got all this happening to them. This is happening. That is nothing's happening. They're making it all up. It's all fake. So apparently they're so privileged, they get to send a missionary to Spain via the British government. The British government probably told the Spanish, hey, you know, these guys are okay. Let them se send a missionary. So they send a missionary, and his name was uh, Malik Muhammad Sharif. And you know, per Amadea sources, he arrived in 1936. But then there's a civil war going on. He ends up having to leave the country. They don't say why. They don't... That's not even a good enough reason. They won't tell us. So we know Amity's lie. So uh, he ends up going to, to Italy, um, and he's never heard again, ever in the history of Amadea. Game over. Never hear from this guy ever again. That's it. So we don't know where, where he went, honestly. So 10 years later, at the end of World War II, so remember, at the end of World War II, Amity's were privileged you know, and I was just on this uh, Twitter space with a guy named Raja. Uh, all these Gadiani say, look, we built this. You didn't do anything. And these were given jobs that they shouldn't have had. They didn't earn it. You know, I, I come from a world where I, I earned everything I have. So I, I see that differently as a man who earned it versus a man that didn't earn it. You know, that that's two different uh, categories of people. So this, these guys didn't earn anything. Um, but they became foreign minister. They were given these jobs, right? Uh, that, that they, that anyone could do. I mean, come on, bro. The, 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 like this is paperwork. This is in the office. Anyone can work an office job. Come on. It's that outside work that can't be done. That's hard because you got to lift and you got to push and pull and be strong and be manly and be aggressive. Right? So, so now, um, uh, World War II is over. They send uh, two, two rabbis. One is uh, um, uh, Karam Elahi Zafar, and the other one is Muhammad Saki, also spelled Muhammad Ishaq Saki. Um, but a few months, they're all shut down and redirected. The Spanish are like, nope. So the Spanish were, after they lost all their colonies to America and the uh, Monroe Doctrine, you need to look that up. They get kicked out of the Americas. They don't. Really, they lose the Philippines. They lose Puerto Rico. They lose Mexico. They lose everything. America's like, don't come back. Now they're neutral during a World War II. They should be punished for being neutral during during a World War II. But they weren't. They were allowed to operate. It seems, um, or not punished, but at least some kind of sanctions. Why didn't you help us? You could have done something. You know, instead they let Germans escape through Spain. Right. Uh, um, so so there's a lot of research on that. You also need should probably read. So this guy. OK, so Muhammad Saki is sent to Trinidad and Tobago, which was a British colony. And then read my essay on the history of Amadea in Trinidad and Tobago, whereas the other guy, he says, no, I'm going to stay. 
And and they say, so remember, no rabbi, no Amity Mullah rabbi can ever do anything by himself. So he has to get approval. So the Khalifa says, yeah, I'll let you stay. Really, the Khalifa told him to stay. Um, and, and now he's selling uh, perfumes in the market. He's making his own money. No one's converting to the, the nonsense that he's selling. Uh, and there's a famous photo I'm going to add as the thumbnail. But this is the guy who's there, right? So jump to uh, 1970. Uh, Mirza Nasser Ahmed visits for the first time ever. But before we get there, let me tell you about the temple, the Qadiani temple. I've been there. Uh, it's the Basharat place of worship uh, in Pedro Abad, Cordoba, Spain. I was for a bit further away. Um, uh, I lived in Sevilla. There's a huge city center there. Uh, get mad if you want. But hey, here, so here it is. I break it down per year, 1936, 1945. 1946. Here's the photo. Okay, in the 1957. So remember, a Mirza Thiram gets sent and gets admission into a college he should have never got admission to. Fraud. He says his father knew some of the people there, so they gave him admission. Uh, really, he's an idiot. He's not smart. He can't do math. He can't do reading and writing. So he he gets admission to this college, and then he fails, and then he travels all around Europe doing drugs and women and men and whatever, right? So he ends up in Spain and he goes and visits them and he says he sees them open. We don't know if this could be anecdotal. He could be lying. We don't know. So in 1969, uh, this Amdi employee, he writes a letter to Francisco Franco, you know, telling him, hey, all the other Muslims are bad. Muslims are bad. We're good. Muslims are bad, right? So then 1970, Mirza Nasser Ahmed, a year later, gets is allowed to get a visa and is allowed to visit, right? So this is how they infiltrate. They they kiss up, and I saw Amdi's doing this locally. They'll go kiss up to the local uh, chamber of commerce. They'll go kiss up to the mayor. They'll go kiss up to whomever just to get something. Oh, you know what? We want asylum. We want this to happen. We need this to happen. Look, as a Muslim, we don't kiss up. We don't show off. We're not here to do any of that. Let us pray. We have a mosque. That's it. We're not asking for any special treatment, anything. You know, just don't kill us. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> in America, there's a lot of uh, racism and et cetera. So in 1970, the Khalifa visits. Then in 1977, um, they, they claim that 30 Spaniards have converted, which is a lie, total lie. This is how they lie about converts, right? So then in 1980, the uh, uh, all of a sudden, in 1980, they get approval to build a place of worship, a Qadiani temple. So, um, so the Khalifa visits, um, and he lays the foundation stone, and... Uh, he comes up with, with the slogan, love for all, hatred for none. This is where it came from because he's in Spain and he's saying, yeah, Muslims are bad. Ter they're all terrorists. But we, the Qadianis, we're not. We're good. Love for all, hatred for none, et cetera, et cetera. He comes, does that. Okay. Then he dies uh, two years later. Um, he married that younger woman and then has a heart attack while laid up with her. He has a heart attack and dies. It's over. So his younger brother, his younger stepbrother, Mirza Thayramid takes over. And then he shows up to inaugurate the opening of the Qadiani Temple. Uh, so on, on Friday, September 10th, 1982, he shows up. So this is where I say the persecution is fake because he was able to leave in 1982, but he can't. He has to go back to Pakistan. He can't live in Europe. Right. So the Khalifa doesn't want to live in Pakistan. Right. There's the the there's two wars that are going on. The Afghan Soviet war, which the U.S. It's a proxy war and the Iran Iraq war, which is another proxy war. So he's like, I got to get out of here for this whole area gets nuked. So this is the evidence. He was already coming and going. OK, so he so it's funny. He goes there and, and he says it costed 30 million pesetas. Where'd this money come from? It's a mystery where who funded this, the, the building of this Qadiani temple. Somebody let us know because we don't, there's no money trail, right? And, and, and this is the proof that they're stealing money. 
Because there's no money trail. Why don't you show us the money trail? Right? If this is a public organization, you're, you, you say you're doing this for Islam, show us. There should be a law in America, and I'm working on this, that all nonprofits need to publish their money trail. Where do the money get spent? And 90% needs to be spent locally. This, I'm going to work on this, Congress, uh, Senate, whatever I got to do, this is going to straighten everyone out. All right. So, um, yeah, and then they say he he died in 1996, this guy. Uh, apparently, his parents came. Uh, he had a child there. His wife was there. Um, and then 1985, oh, okay, so in 1982, when this happened, uh, they brought uh, Abdus Salam. They brought Zafr Lahan. They brought all the uh, all the big uh, Qadianis there. Look, we're good people. Love for all, hatred for none. Let us open this center, whatever. So then 1985, he visits again. From the UK, it's not that far, right? And then 1990, he visits again. 92, he visits again. And then in 95. And then another uh, um, a mission house is opened in a different place. So, so they're trying. They're opening. The, this is an investment. Spain is one of their investments. Who's funding it? We don't know. Where, where's the money coming from to do all this? We don't know. We know he wouldn't pay the, uh, the AMD rabbi. He told him, make your own money. I don't have any money for you. I ain't got nothing for you. Okay, so um, in 96, they, they, they say that he died, uh, the, the missionary that was there. So then in 2003, the fifth Talifa visits for the first time ever. They opened some more missions. Uh, and now, by, and then by 2005, they claim there's five Amity rabbis who are working in the country, three mission houses, et cetera, et cetera. In 2013, the Halifa visits again. Um, and then they claim to have built a second temple in Valencia. And then in 2015, they claim to have 500 Gadianis in all of Spain, which is a lie. It's a total lie. Um, so that is the story of the history of Amadea in Spain. Feel free to, uh, um, to check my sources and et cetera. That is the full story. I try to make these quick videos. And let's see what, what we got here in the chat. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, yep. Asalaamu Alaikum, brother. Asalaamu Alaikum, brother. Out here just hanging out. Well, yep. Wa Alaikum Asalaam, brother. The, yeah, Mirza Takti in the toilet cult. <laughs> yeah, that's what they do. They invite, hey, come to our Jalsa. They invite politicians. Politicians should not be allowed to go to their Jalsas or anyone's religious functions. Politicians never allowed. They should not be allowed. Okay, and what else? Yo, oh, yeah, man, they lie about everything, brother. They're, they're just, oh, Kadanji, Paji, Kadanji. All right, and then who uh, um, who do we have here? L let me see who this is, then I'm going to end it. I'll be coming back with, like, another video. Uh, are you there, brother? Can you hear me? I just unmuted him. We'll give him a few seconds. If not, I'm out of here. Are you there, brother? Brother, 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 are you there, brother? No? All right. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, that is all. Peace out. Asalaamu Alaikum. I'm doing another video coming right back. I only do live videos. I don't I, I do not do these, these uh, uh, you know, I, I got I to gotta learn the rest. I got a lot, I got a lot going on. So Asalaamu Alaikum, brothers and sisters, I'm coming right back. Bill Cosby in the Amadea context. You're going to like this one. Peace out. Assalamu alaikum.